Uh, Master Sergeant C.J. Gakey. Currently, I'm the company training sergeant. I was recently elected for the commander position, which I'll be sworn in May 1st. The reason I joined is I was in the military for 22 years, and uh, when I retired, I still needed a sense of belonging, a brotherhood, sisterhood, if you you know, if you will. Uh, and I reached out to the Rangers. I went to my first meeting, and I knew that was going to be the place for me where I could give back. I'm Gary Carlsrud. Uh, my rank is lieutenant. I'm executive officer outgoing. Most of the duties I do are court duty, and um, we get some interesting people coming through the doors. My name is Carl Holmstrom. I've been a ranger about uh, three and a half years. My rank is sergeant. Well, the judge had gotten some, uh, he's being stalked uh, from one guy, and he had some people that gave him threats, verbal threats, I think they were. One of the problems well, with uh, it's, it's the judicial uh, branch of government is that, uh, you know, they're the third branch and they have to depend on others uh, for assistance. In this particular case, the Green Valley Justice Court had had received some security from uh, the Sheriff's Department or the Sheriff's Auxiliary Volunteers. Uh, at the beginning of COVID, I think what happened is all of those resources dried up uh, for a lot of reasons, one of which people were just concerned about uh, becoming infected with the coronavirus. Uh, in the meantime, uh, our Arizona Rangers stepped up to the plate and provided the security that's necessary for the Justice Court and Judge Carroll and uh, save the public a lot of money. Overwhelming response is how grateful these employees have been for the Rangers. How friendly, how capable, how really likable the group is as a whole. But how they feel better, safer. Uh, Letty goes to the bank as you guys walk her out every day. That never happened before. And when you're tied down behind the bench and you know it's myself and, and Letty and Roxy, you've lightened those decisions the responsibility, you, you just shored up our morale there, and just we love the Rangers. Uh, I think the Arizona Rangers are, are well known. They, they come from territorial days, and so they come from a long line of law enforcement, uh, and the particular Arizona Rangers now are an honorary group in Arizona, uh, made up of mostly uh, former law enforcement officials who still have the credentials uh, to provide those type of services. Well, the judge reached out to us. Anyone that reaches out to us, we take into consideration their safety and how we can be involved with the community. Uh, looking at the situation that they had, uh, we thought it was pretty imperative that we vote and agree to do that, and uh, here we are. The fact that we provide a presence there uh, really helps kind of control the flow in the courtroom. Back in everybody's attention, please. We, uh, we want to take this time to, to recognize Mr. Huckleberry for, for all his work and support to the, to the Arizona Rangers. On behalf of the state commander, the board of directors, the board of governors, um, he was voted in as an honorary ranger, okay, which is not something that we do lightly. But this is the first thing we'd like to present okay. you with, is, uh, is the plaque. Okay, Great. for for the Arizona Rangers, this is the original looking badge mm -hmm. that they had. Okay, so thank you very much. Okay. I appreciate it. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. It will it will go on a very prominent uh, place in that wall of my office. Okay. And this is the the actual certificate mm -hmm. that goes with mm -hmm. that. Great. I'm uh, George Grove, and I'm captain of Madeira Company of the Arizona Rangers. He wanted uh, an armed presence there, um, and of course that wasn't just something we could step in and do. It required some some uh, some research by their by the county's risk management office, so that they could approve us doing that. Uh, and again, Mr. Huckleberry was a big part of that, of, of getting them to review that, and and where they could say yes, we think you guys are okay. We we do the same training as any police officer does when it comes to firearms. We, we follow post standards. We, we're not post certified, okay, but we do follow post standards in all of our firearms training. We are very appreciative 
and want to thank them for their service and we hope to form a more lasting relationship with them to provide uh, that type of service as we need it uh, in Pima County and in particular Green Valley and the Green Valley Justice Court. It's a great feeling knowing that uh, someone like uh, an entity like Pima County trusts us to uh, partnership with them and do things with and for them. Mm -hmm. Someday I, I just want to hopefully really do the very best we can to recognize your continued service but in the meantime having Chuck here today and making him an honorary ranger is just beyond what, what I could have hoped to promise uh, anybody that would associate uh, themselves with the rescue of my court. Mm -hmm.